part two of the part monkey who uh, just replaced the compressor and so here we go we're back if you remember from the other video I explained how I knew there was an over oil charge and you have to know a little physics and exp know some of the gas laws and stuff and and you know how about like a plumber shit all you got to know is shit rolls downhill okay so we have a tapered high part of our system this is the highest pipe highest part of the system way up here there should be no liquid there should be no oil in this line so I'm hooked up the system is charged with some nitrogen and so this is to show you as if it was charged with refrigerant you can see the oil that's leaking out of here out of my gauges I made a mess down there now I got to clean up that has UV dye in it they had UV dye in it. so I'm gonna open it up I have a 68 psi of nitrogen in there look at all that oil isn't that beautiful this is what completely unqualified I'm not even gonna call them technicians they don't even qualify for parts monkeys this is this is what burns up compressors actually this is what breaks piston rods in the old compressors this is what blows out the front shaft seal this is what flexes the case on compressors because trying to compress a liquid and um, so even though they replaced it once if I charge it up they may replace it again I'm gonna let the owner know or the shop manager know so on these old R4 compressors that outer band the case the outer ring it's a shell it's made out of metal you have four opposing compressor uh, pistons in a radio configuration like the old airplanes where you used to see the pistons go around in a circle so that's what you have and it extrudes the pressure against the shell and when the o-rings get old and crispy they're no longer pliable malleable they don't have flexibility to them so as the metal metal case flexes outwards the o-ring does not expand with every one of those pulses to keep the shell and the case with the o-ring in the middle sealing so they you get those leaks that develop at the outer shell of the case that you see on these types of compressors these compressors knock when they're over oiled these compressors break when they get over oiled in certain situations so i think we'll have a part three to this video possibly but from now i'll uh, do what they say i'm going to show the owner this and uh, let him make his decision what we're going to do